Hey everybody, welcome to Life is Strange with me, Chris. And, uh, yeah, this is a little intro to this gameplay video. I don't think I'll do a full Let's Play through, even, even though it's only uh, a short video. But, this game has been described as one of those, one of those, the old narrative experiences. And you know what? They get a bad, uh, they get a bad name, but I quite like them, it turns out. I like them a lot. Um, whether, I mean, maybe not so fast on Dear Esther, but Going Home was pretty good. Didn't fall in love with it as nearly as uh, much as some people seem to go nuts over it, but To the Moon, fantastic. Um, like most of the Telltale games. Even if the end of season one of The Walking Dead really annoyed me. But I played through most of these kind of things. And I just like, you know, absorbing interesting stories. And this hopefully will be another one. Obviously heard good things about it. But you'll find out along with me what's going to happen. The uh, screen size looks fine to me. Let's start a new game. I did play a little bit of this before. Uh, just to get a feel for what the... Um, controls were. So life is strange as a story based game that features player choice, the consequences of all your in game actions and decisions will impact the past, present and future. Choose wisely. Very pretty. Her hair is not. What's happening? Unlike elephants beyond their souls. Cut that elephant's lift button. How did I get here? And where is here? Wait, there's the lighthouse. I'll be safe if I can make it there. Symbolism. Please let me make it there. So, I know somebody else will want me to do it, but I, when I first came in here, I had a wee look around the, um, the environment to see if there was any collectibles or anything. And there didn't seem to be at the early, early doors. So, I just kind of follow the narrative. The um, very strong opening to do, you know, strong things with the wind here. Obviously, using these camera. I'll try these things. Oh, I thought that all the bricks there. This stuff. Gives me an overview map at the time. Holy crap. Stuff going on there. There's no more bricks. Stones. I say the fence reminds me of that. Brothers heading towards the fence all the time for the look. Holy shit. Damn right, holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> that was so surreal. Famously called film Little Pieces of Time. But he could be talking about photography, as he likely was. Okay. I'm in class. Everything's cool. I am okay. From light to shadow. From color to chiaroscuro. Now, can you give me an example of a photographer who perfectly captured the human condition in black and white? I didn't fall asleep, and that sure didn't feel like a dream. Weird. Diane Arbus. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her images of hopeless faces. You feel like totally haunted by the eyes of those sad mothers and children. So, she saw humanity as torture, she wants right? To look at. And frankly, Panic. it's bullshit. <laughs> look at this crap. How can I show this to Mr. Jefferson? I can hear the class laughing at me now. Obviously, taking them. Um, it's obviously taking, you know, photos to bring into class or whatever. Keep that to yourself. Class. Seriously, though, I could frame any one of you in a dark corner. And capture you in a moment of desperation. Selfie seems and like And any one of you could do that to me. <laughs> something pretty beloved. Isn't that too easy? I can't believe I still have this pencil case. I should upgrade to the 21st century. But I like it old school. 
I do Gee. love my analog camera. So, I should take a quick picture now. Oh my God, I have to take a selfie. I have to admit, of, um, I'm not a big fan of her work. I prefer Robert Frank. Shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. Of course, as you all know, the photo portrait has been popular since the early 1800s. Your generation was not the first to use images for selfie expression. Sorry, I couldn't resist. The point remains that the portraiture has always been a vital aspect of art and photography for as long as it's been around. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I did know, but I kind of forgot. Yeah, stop You either answer. know this or not, Max. Is there anybody here who knows their stuff? Not me. Louis Daguerre was a French painter who created daguerreotypes. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. Sad face. She's quite hot. For Very good, Victoria. Kind of. The Daguerrean process brought out fine detail in people's faces, making them extremely popular from the 1800s onward. The first American daguerreotype so. self-portrait was done by Robert Cornelius. If anybody else looked at this, what would they think? So, we got access to a journal. Uh, I've been in here before. There seems to be eight pages down the bottom. Uh, and typical. It's most teenage egg stuff. October, my favourite month. The best weather of the year. I love watching the leaves change colour, turn into tiny flames. But it's still too damn hot. Thanks, global warming. And I can't bust out the big coats and sweaters or scary movies yet. Soon. Kate, let me borrow. It's not their thing by uh, Ray Bradbury. The October Country. So it continues on like that, and there are eight pages of it. I'm not going to bore you by going through all that, but it does start off with I get accepted in Blackwell Academy. If words could ever dance, this would be a rave, even though I've never been to one. But it occurs because I got into Blackwell Academy, a unique and famous private school for seniors. No kids allowed. And it turns out, if you go on to the next part, uh, if we click on Jefferson, not only is Mark Jefferson one of the best photographers in the world, he's also my teacher, and one of the reasons I wanted to come to Blackwell. How often do you want do you get to get mentored by one of your inspirations. I've always loved his deco and golf style, and he's so versatile with all of his incredible print and advertising work. Still, Jefferson can be a bit condescending. You reckon he's pretty hip for his age, but kind of aloof, and sometimes pretentious. He has this smug smile when he thinks he's right. So, it takes you a bit into the, ca the character portraits. There are there. You've got Kate and Victoria, who was a bit... Um, a bit condescending towards her as well, but she's a total bitch. Biographies for everybody there, including Max herself. Max Caulfield. And she's always wanted to be a photographer. So, I love Seattle's other thing. We'll come out of her You journal. can find out all about him in your textbook. Or even online. Hey guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Oh dear. Thanks for it, teenager. Victoria doesn't waste a second kissing. Even her school books are gift wrapped. <laughs> I can't believe she made fun of me in class. I can believe she made fun of me in class. Craft. Oops, technical difficulties. Of course, Victoria has to have the bestest, newest, most expensive everything. Everybody knows you don't touch another girl's tablet. More boys. There's a computer. Looks like somebody was already working on this. Cool. This is quite cool. I like it. I wanna be Kate. Hi, Kate. Oh. Hi, Max. Kate, I hope I didn't embarrass you with my lame answer. It sucks to be dragged into the spotlight. Unless you're Victoria. She's got nothing on you, Max. Well, I should get going. Yeah, me too. Talk to you later. Sure. Let's pick up this paper ball. I can't pick it up. Now I wish I wouldn't have read this. Purge. We love your porn video. 
Okay. Took a little turn. Mr. Jefferson. Look at her, she's flirting. Every time I look at Victoria, I feel like she's talking smack about me. It's, it's really similar to the, um... Excuse me. Mr. Jefferson, sure. can I talk to you for a moment? Yes. Style. Excuse you. No, Victoria. Excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Do I have to? I just don't think it's that big a deal. Max, you're a better photographer than a liar. Now, I know it's a drag to hear some old dude lecture you, but life won't wait for you to play catch up. You're young, the world is yours, blah, 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 right? But you do have a gift. You have the fever to take images, to frame the world only the way you envision it. Now, all you need is the courage to share your gift with others. And that's what separates the artist from the amateur. Okay. There's a picture. Let's look at it. It's the White Lighthouse. Oh, you shit. can never escape the lighthouse here. She's not making the link. That freaked me the fuck out. Damn. Even in pictures. The forest around here always looks mysterious. This kind of style is a bit funny because they're supposed to be photos, yet they're not. TV. Man, he even has the best plasma HDTV for a class monitor. Can't wait to watch some more documentaries on this bad boy. So cool that we can check these out anytime. The Decisive Moment by Henri Cartier-Bresson? That's rare. Annie Leibovitz, mad respect. The amazing Eugene Smith? Good to see Abaddon among the masters. Dolly, of course. Lots of people I haven't heard of yet. I guess that's why I'm here. I gotta admit, I know nothing, nothing about photography. Here's the poster for the contest. Mr. Jefferson really expects me to enter. Why? I don't know if I'm ready for my 15 minutes of infamy. Mm, let's go out. Cute I looked yet. I was about to. Like you you always Welcome to the real world. Just cute. Hot. Then I might send you a special picture. It's a bit of a GTA body there, wasn't it? I'm not paying off the plays it so shy. I need a serious timeout in the bathroom. Splash water on my face and make sure I don't look like a total loser. I hate that class, it's so fucking boring. It's interesting this is made by Square Enix, because it seems so fucking shy. She takes selfies with a little different. Don't nod, entertainment. Let's have a look at it. I love that picture of mom and dad. American Hello, Jack. Kiss, kiss. Andy, you look totally fabulous as usual. I don't know who I think that's the others. American girls hey, Justin. Hey, like hey, Dana. Stella. The world around you. Driving a car oh, by the Logan. seaside. I've seen Brooke hanging out with Warren. She seems like his type. What's the person? It looks like she's been gone for months. Rich Lamper. Tattooing on a cap of a dragon with a star on the inside of her left wrist. Chemical later, so let's not. Party. I wish October would last forever. American girls like dollies with shine. Don't need a PC. You missed the poetry jam tryouts, and I did not steal that backpack. I wish I had <laughs> really noticed. What the hell that is? An American. That's so messed up. I should contact them to find out what I can do. As if I am. It looked like it was getting destroyed and uh, 
Whoever would stay healthy, he the hell was through that. So that's a Christmas poster. Bosses. Comfrey zone. Hi Trevor. I cry sometimes walking around my own place. Wondering why she cries sometimes. Talking about her. Oh, you can hardly wait to never be too cool like Nathan and Victoria. Lame. Try her fountain till she got tired to come play. That's when I fly. Join the cast in my purpose and go to the To your land. Empty. Good. Nobody can see my meltdown. Except for me. Nicely done, look, I have to say. Really, really nice. Use the mirror. I feel like the universe is taunting me everywhere I go today. It all started with that bizarro dream in class. Am I going crazy? I don't just do I peep. Most teenagers feel like that. Some kids that self doubt. And I really could take them forward 10 years and kind of take that person and throw them back. They'd be much better off. Just relax. Stop torturing yourself. You have a gift. Fuck it. I like that picture. When a door closes, a window opens. Or something like that. Oh, I have Victoria. Okay, girl, you don't get a photo op like this every day. What's hmm. that Polaroids? Oh boy. It's cool, Nathan. <laughs> Don't stress. You, you're okay, bro. Just count to three. Don't be scared. You own this school. If I wanted, I could blow it up. <laughs> you're the boss. So what do you want? I hope you check the perimeter, as my step-ass would say. Now, let's talk business. I got nothing for you. Wrong. You got hella cash. That's my family, not me. Oh, boo-hoo, poor little rich kid. I know you've been pumping drugs and shit to kids around here. I bet your respectable family would help me out if I went to them. Man, I can see the headlines now. Leave them out of this bitch. I can tell everybody Nathan Prescott is a punk ass who begs like a little girl and talks to himself. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Shit, that's that? serious. What are you doing? Come on, put that thing down. Don't ever tell me what to do. I'm so sick of people trying to control me! You are going to get in hella more trouble for this than drugs. Nobody would ever even miss your punk ass, would they? Get that gun away from me, psycho! No! Oh, shit. She got real. Whoa. What the fuck? I was just about How? to say that. How can that be? I was in the bathroom. He shot that poor girl. I held up my hand. And then I was back here. These pieces of time can frame us. I already heard this lecture. From light to shadow. From color. Now Kate is being hassled again. And if Victoria's phone rings, this is real. Now. Shit. Can you give me an example of a Man, photographer I cannot who believe this. captured the human condition in black and white? Okay, if I'm crazy, Anybody? I might as well go all the way. Bueller. Can I actually reverse time? Go, Victoria. Why Arvis? Because of her images of hopeless faces. Rewind time on the right button. That's quite cool. So 
so I don't want the camera to switch. I did now, it. Can you I actually did it. A photographer who perfectly captured I'm a human the human time machine. And white. Anybody? Bueller? Max, don't freak out. Not yet. There you go, Victoria. Why Arbus? Because of her Keep images of hopeless still the same stupid picture. When I took my selfie, Jefferson asked me a question. If he does again, I'll know this is for real. Keep that to yourself. Seriously, though, shh, shh. I believe Max has taken what you kids call a selfie. A dumb word for a wonderful photographic tradition. And Max has a gift. I know I'm not dreaming course, this. You all know, the it's real. Has been I can God, tell. The early like 1800s. Your generation so I can go back in time. For selfie expression. What if that girl so, isn't dead yet? I couldn't resist. The point can I save her? She has always been a vital aspect of art and photography. For I need to go to the bathroom quickly and check it out. Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first self-portraits? I'm sorry. I feel sick. May I be excused? Nice try, Max. But you're not going to get away that easy. We can talk more after class. Is there anybody oh, here shit. who knows their stuff? Jefferson wants to keep me after class. And I need time to save that girl. A process that gave portraits a sharp reflective style like a mirror. Now you're totally stuck in the retro zone. It just Sad getting face. up to the question. Come Very good, Victoria. Back. What if I rewind again and give him the right answer? Now, Max, since you've captured our interest and clearly want to join the conversation, way, can you please tell us the name of the process that gave birth to the first I know, I know, I know. Portraits. The Daguerrean process, invented by a French painter named Louis Daguerre around 1830. Somebody has been reading as well as posing. Nice work, Max. The Daguerrean process made portraiture hugely popular, mainly because it gave the subjects clear defined features. You can learn more when you actually finish reading the assigned chapters. Max is so far way ahead of everyone. And guys, don't forget the deadline to submit a photo in the Everyday Heroes contest. I'll fly out with the winner to San Francisco where you'll be feted by the art world. It's great exposure and it can kickstart a career in photography. So Stella and Alyssa, get it together. Taylor, don't hide. I'm still waiting for your entry, too. And yes, Max, I see you pretending not to see me. Max, you are not crazy. You are not dreaming. It's time to be an everyday hero. So get the fuck out of here. Max Marks, I didn't yes, see that. Victoria, you still have to do your homework. So Even if you're submitting your photo for the competition, everybody in class is turning in a photo. So, you see the dilemma? I know, Mr. Jefferson. I just worked so hard in the show. Let's see. Oh, this is a picture. Shot, and I'm sure you know what it's like to be consumed by your work. I just really think Everyday Heroes is an important cultural event, and I want to represent Blackwell Academy. You have just my friend. I see you, Max Caulfield. Don't even think about leaving here until we talk about your entry. Damn. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. I'm not avoiding, just... Biding time? Waiting for the elusive right moment? Exactly. Max, don't wait too long. John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Damn right. Go on now. Don't let me stop you. Why would I want to? I thought that went all right. Oh, excluded from this process, but I also want everybody to know. Excuse me, Mr. Jefferson, can I talk to you for a moment? Yes, excuse you. No, Victoria, excuse us. I'd never let one of photography's future stars avoid handing in her picture. Hmm. I'm on top of it. 
I think John Lennon once said that life is what happens while you're busy making other plans. Max, you're on fire today. All the right answers, good. Make sure you finish working on it by today. I have faith in you. God, she's no like, she's turned into Victoria. Maybe Victoria can do exactly the same thing. Oh God, is that a spoiler? I don't know. Ooh. I hope I have enough time to get to the bathroom. Please, please. I can't tell anybody. They'll think I'm crazy. I know there's kids about out here. Yo, Daniels. You know I don't tease. I hate that science mm. class with those nerds. What's that got to do with anything? Let's stop it right here. See what happens when we're going back in upwards. So, we've introduced the main mechanics of the game. Um, and yeah, we'll go through the bathroom in a second. See you next time. Bye.